Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Okay, good. Good evening. How is everybody today? Good? Yes? Not so good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good, good. How was your weekend? How was the weekend, everybody? Did you have a good weekend? Yes? Good weekend or bad weekend? It was a good weekend. Oh, it was a good weekend? All right. Okay, good, good. I'm glad I'm glad you had a good weekend. Um, okay. So um so today um we oh first of all, antes que nada, um quienes todavía eh, no han terminado la plataforma. ¿Todos han terminado? ¿Sí? Oh, wow. Wow, that's excellent. Ok, well, in that case, you deserve one of these. Very good. Good job. Wow. I am impressed. Wow, soy muy impresionada. Ok, good, good. Ok, entonces, no hay nadie que necesite ayuda con la plataforma. Todos hemos terminado. ¿Sí? Ok. Bravo, then. Bravo. Actually, I want to give you one of these, too. Ok. Good job. Good job. Ok. Very good. All right. En ese caso, pues, perfecto. Um, pero, sin embargo, eh, esta semana vamos a estar, yo sé que ya terminaron la plataforma y todo, pero esta semana vamos a estar eh, repasando y um, dando, um, dando más explicación a esos, a esos ejercicios que tal vez lo hicieron, pero no quedaron completamente claros, ¿verdad? Todo, eh, yo entiendo que hay cosas que, que todavía como que mmm, tal vez no se sienten muy cómodos, todavía necesitan más práctica y con gusto aquí vamos a ayudarles, ¿ok? I think it, don't worry. Now, my question is, did everybody see the table that I sent you last time? Did you review the table? Did you review the table? Había una, ta un, una, una tabla, un, una lista, por así decirlo, que les mandé. ¿Todos lo revisaron? Honestly, no. No? Okay. I know. My personal opinion, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, but if you have not seen it, you need to see it. Because this is the irregular verbs. And, oh, con esto. Esto no es una, una lista completa. Okay. No es una lista completa porque si no me equivoco, son como 100 más o menos. Sí, 101. Son 101 y más o menos hay como 200 en el idioma inglés. So that's like half of a list. But it's a very good list because they are common irregular verbs. Okay? So the most common irregular verbs will be there. Okay? Now, it's very, very, very important that you review that list so you can understand the exercises for example um somebody was in the group was asking about an exercise with what with the word was and were okay there was an exercise in in the platform using was and were do you remember that yes yeah okay good so was 
And where is the simple past of what verb? Be. In the verb to be, exactly. Very good. It's the verb to be. So uh, when you are used, when you're talking about the past, se acuerdan que yo les decía, no es posible hacer, por ejemplo, didn't be. No es posible porque el verbo to be es diferente a todos los demás verbos. Entonces, así como es diferente el verbo to be en el negativo, también es diferente el verbo to be en el afirmativo del pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene dos formas. Was y were. So when do you use was and when do you use were? Um, so let me share with you before anything. Okay, so this is what we learned last class. Do you remember? Do you remember this? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿No se acuerdan muy bien? Cuéntenme. Hello, teacher. Hello, Blanca. <laughs> Okay, so do you remember this? ¿Se acuerdan de esto? Yes. Yes? Yes, miss. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so this is for regular, okay? So remember, with regular verbs, it's very easy. It's, it's, it's very easy because there are very concrete rules. And the rules are, put an ED, like watch, or stay, or if it finishes in a D, just add the letter D. If it finishes in Y, elim in the consonant Y, eliminate the Y and put I, E, D. And then here in this one, double the consonant and put E, D. That, those are the rules. Okay? ¿Se acuerdan de esto? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. Now, let's um, let's go on to the next one then. Here. Um, no. What is the... Espera un momentito. Déjame encontrarla. All right, now over here, um, okay, I'm gonna share right now with you. Okay, do you, do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, good. Now this is irregular verbs and this is from the list that I sent you, okay? So some irregular verbs we can say, I did my homework. I did my homework. I, I did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did my homework. Or I the negative is I didn't do laundry. I didn't. Okay. So what is the sim so did comes from what verb? What is the origin of did? What is the, or the, okay. the verb? Do. Do. Exactly. Very good. The verb is do. Okay. So the, the, the simple past of do is did. Okay. And the simple past negative of do is didn't do. 
Okay, so I did my homework. I could also make it negative and say, I didn't do my homework. Okay, or I can make this one affirmative and say, I did laundry. Okay, sounds good? Estamos bien? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. So now let's go to the next one. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. So this comes from what verb? What is the origin of got up? Get up. Get up. Very good. Exactly. The origin is get up. Okay, get up. So get up has two forms. If the affirmative is got up and the um, negative simple past is didn't get up. So I could say, I can change this to negative and I say, what is the negative? If I say, if I say this sentence in the negative, what is it? So, you didn't get up. Okay, so you didn't get up at noon, right? You didn't get up at noon. That's the negative. And if I change this to affirmative, what is it? What is this in affirmative? You didn't get up at 10. Tell me that in, in affirmative. You got you got up mm -hmm. at noon. Good. No, 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 this one, this one. You didn't get up at 10. Tell me, give me affirmative. Cambiémoslo para que no sea negativo, sino que afirmativo. Uh, you got up at 10. Good. You got up at 10. O sea, es lo mismo. Got up and didn't get up. It's always going to be the same independent of the subject. Okay. I could say he didn't get up at 10. They didn't get up at 10. I didn't get up at 10. It's going to be all the same. Okay, eso es lo bonito de, de esta estructura, que no importa el sujeto, no importa, siempre va a ser la misma palabra en el afirmativo o negativo. Ok, got it. ¿Estamos? Yes, ok, yes. Right. Yeah. good. Now let's talk about this one. He went to the museum, he didn't go to the library. So went and didn't go comes from what verb? What is the origin of the verb? Go. Go. Exactly. Go. Okay. So the the simple past of go has two forms. Um it's this one. He went to the museum and he didn't go to the library. So that's a, the negative, affirmative and negative. So he went to the museum, he didn't go to the library. Now change this sentence to, affirm, to negative. He went to the museum. He did go he did go to the ¿Cómo se dice museo? Museum. Museum. Okay. He did go or he didn't go? He didn't go. Good. To he the didn't go. Exactly. He didn't go to the museum. This one. 
he didn't go to the library. Make it now affirmative. He went go to the library. He went go or just he went? He went, he went to the library. Good, he went to the library. He went to the library. So all you have to do is switch. Oops, but one. All you have to do is switch. So, um, para que más o menos entiendan esto un poquito mejor. All you're doing is switching. Okay? So, he didn't go. He went. So, he didn't go to the museum. He went to the library. That's all. So, no hay que intercambiar. It's the same. Okay? All right, next. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. What is the origin of this of this verb? Met and didn't meet. What is the origin? Meet. Meet, exactly. The origin of this verb is meet. So the simple past of meet in the affirmative is met and in the negative didn't meet. So if I want to change it, and I say, we met our classmates. Make it negative. We didn't. We didn't what? Meet our class. Our classmates. Yes, we Maybe. didn't meet our classmates. Exactly. We didn't meet our classmates. Very good. Okay, now, we didn't meet our teacher. Make that affirmative. We we met our teacher. Yes, very good, we met our teacher. We met our, our teacher. Very good, good job. Next one, you came home late. You didn't come home early. What is the origin of this verb? Come. 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 Very good. So the origin is the verb come. And come has two forms. In the affirmative, it's came. And the negative didn't come. Okay, so you came home late. Change it to negative. You didn't come home late. You didn't come home late. You didn't come home late. And the next one, you didn't come home early. Change it to affirmative. You came home, you early. Came home early. Good, you came home early. Very good. And the last one. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. What is the original verb? Have. Exactly, have. Okay. So have, again, has two forms. The affirmative form of have is had, and the negative form of have is didn't have. Okay, so they had a picnic, change that to negative. They didn't have a picnic. Good, they didn't have a picnic. They didn't have a party, change that to affirmative. They have a party. They had a party. Excellent. There you go. Very good. Good job. Good, good job. Okay. Now, 
like I said, the beautiful thing about these sentences is that um, you can um, use this in with any subject. So the subject can be he, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and it will be exactly the same in affirmative and negative. Okay, that's the beautiful thing about this. Okay, um, Adriana, you have a question. Uh, eh, cuando es has, cuando se usa she, no cambia has. No. That's what I'm, I'm explaining, that I can change. I can change these, these um, the, the subjects. If I want it, I can change it. And I could say, for example, um, I can say you. Um, so you did your homework or you did my homework and it could still it's the still same thing I, you did my homework okay I can say uh she she didn't do the laundry it's the same I can say um for example we we got up at noon and this is going to be the same I can say, um, I, I didn't get up at 10. Okay, it's gonna be exactly the same. It doesn't matter what the subject is. It's always gonna be exactly the same. Did, didn't do. Got up, didn't get up. Went, didn't go. Meet, didn't meet. Sorry, met, didn't met, didn't meet. Came, didn't come. Had, didn't have. It's the same. Entonces es, por eso es, aunque, aunque sí entiendo que es un poquito como tal vez um, tedioso estar eh, aprendiendo todos los diferentes um, formas del verbo, los verbos irregulares, pero lo bonito es que ya cuando lo aprenden, no tienen que estar aprendiendo diferentes formas dependiendo del, del sujeto, diferente del español, el español con cada sujeto, con cada pro, eh, pronombre cambia, ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo, yo, yo comí, él comió, nosotros comimos, ellos comieron, entonces todos los, 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 los uh, pronombres cambian. Y entonces imagínense las personas que, que, tienen, que están aprendiendo español, uff, tienen que aprender un montón, ¿verdad? Lo bonito es que ustedes ya, ya cuando entienden cuál es el, 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 el pasado, ese pasado va, va con todo. Va con I, you, he, she, it, we, they. So it's super easy. Okay. Does that make sense? Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Any questions? No. Okay. Now. The difference, the only difference is, ¿se acuerdan lo que les decía anteriormente? El único verbo que es diferente a todos los demás es What? el verbo to be. Ese es el único. ¿Ok? El verbo to be siempre rompe todas las reglas. ¿Ok? Entonces, no se sorprendan que el verbo to be siempre va a tener otra forma. Entonces, sí, el verbo to be es diferente. So, for the verb to be, it's going to look like this. What is the past of be? Was, where? Right, exactly. Was. And the negative form 
is, what is the negative form of was? Wasn't. Wasn't, okay, good. So affirmative was, negative wasn't. What is the other form of, of be in the past? Where? Where? Were, good. And the negative form of were? What were in? Were in. Were in. Good, weren't, excellent. Now, when do you use was and when do you use were? It's going to depend, depend on the subject. Okay, so ahí sí, este es el único que se tienen que acordarse que I, sorry, was goes with I, it goes with she, he, and it. Okay, so I was, she was, he was, it was. I wasn't, she wasn't, he wasn't, it wasn't. ¿Ok? Eh, teacher, pero solo en el verbo to be, ¿verdad? O sea, yes. digamos, ella tuvo, ella fue, yes. así. Yes. Okay. And then were or weren't is used for you. Um, we. We and they. Okay, you were, you weren't. We were, we weren't. They were, they weren't. Okay? Diferente al, al otro. Al, al, our is. Um, no, es bien similar. Lo único, lo único que cambia es el I. Porque acuérdense que el I en, en el afirmativo, es, en, pero en el presente es I am. ¿Verdad? Pero es igual. El she, he, it van juntos. Y el you, we, they van juntos. Porque acuérdense que el you, we, they en el, en el, en el presente es are. You are, we are, they are. Entonces, el único que, que cambia es el I, que, que ahora se cambia al bando de los... De he, she, he, she, he, it. Es el único. Pero de ahí todos los demás son iguales. ¿Ok? Es que en el, en el, en el pasado el I se siente solito, entonces dice, me voy a unir al otro grupo. ¿Ok? Ya no quiere estar solito. Él. All right, any questions? Quizás algunos otros ejemplos, other examples yeah. with the use was and were, with the verb yeah. to be. Yeah, I can give you sentences. Okay, so we can say, I was late to class today. She was tired after work. He was, um, he was, um, afraid of spiders. It was, um, It was cloudy yesterday. Okay. No, too big. All right, sounds good. So here we're using what? Okay, and if I want to make it negative, then I'm just going to say wasn't. So I wasn't late to class today. She wasn't tired after work. He wasn't 
He wasn't. He wasn't afraid of spiders. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. That means sense. Thanks. Okay. Good. And for the other one, we can say, for example, you were, um, you were, um, you were sleepy, um, No, 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 you were mad at me. You were mad at me. What is mad? Do you know mad? Mad at someone? Do you know what mad is? Anybody know mad? La palabra mad? No, angry. Mad means angry. You know angry? Yes. Yeah? What is angry? Enojado. Enojado. Good. So you were angry at me. In Spanish? You were angry at me? What does that mean? You were angry at me. Significa, you were angry at me. Who? Who? What is, what is were? Estar. Estar, entonces tú? In Spanish. Estaba, estaba, estaba enojado. Estabas. Estabas enojado. Estabas enojado. At me. At me. At me. Conmigo. Ok. Tú estabas enojado conmigo. Okay. Okay. Um, or we were um, happy to see you. Oh, maybe to see him. We were happy to see him. ¿Qué significa eso? We were happy to see him. Estuvimos felices de verlo. Mm -hmm. O oh, estábamos felices de verlo. Mm -hmm. Good. And the other one. Um, They were the winners. They were the winners. What does that mean? They were the winners. Ellos fueron los ganadores. Good. Ellos fueron los ganadores. Okay. So, or negative, you weren't. Let me say, we were, you weren't. mad at me you weren't mad at me remember mad means angry you weren't mad at me or negative we weren't happy to see him or they weren't the winners
Okay. So tell me in Spanish, I wasn't late to class today. Sorry, I was late to class today. What does that mean? I was late to class today. I was late to class today. Tarde en clase? Yo estuve tarde para la clase. Para la clase. Or I wasn't late to, to class today. No estuve tarde. Uh -huh. No estuve tarde para la clase. Mm -hmm. Okay. She wasn't, so she was tired after work. She was tired after work. Ella no estaba cansada. Ella estaba cansada después del trabajo. Good. She wasn't tired after work. Ella no estaba cansada después del trabajo. Good. Ella no estaba cansada después del trabajo. He was afraid of spiders. Uh -huh. Very good. Él tenía miedo a las arañas. He wasn't afraid of spiders. He wasn't afraid of spiders. El no tenía miedo a las arañas. El no tenía miedo a las arañas. Good. It was cloudy yesterday. Ayer estaba nublado. Uh -huh. O oh, estuvo nublado ayer. Uh -huh. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. It wasn't cloudy yesterday. No estuvo nublado ayer. No estuvo nublado ayer. Good. You were mad at me. ¿Tú? Estabas enojado conmigo. Good. You weren't mad at me. Tú no estabas enojado conmigo. Tú no estabas enojado conmigo. Good. We were happy to see him. Nosotros estamos felices de verte. De verlo. Good. Good. Nosotros estuvimos felices de verlo. O, estu o estábamos felices de verlo. We weren't happy to see him. Nosotros no estábamos felices de verlo. Good. Nosotros no estábamos felices de verlo. They were the winners. They were the winners. Ellos fueron los ganadores. Ellos fueron los ganadores. Very good. Ellos fueron los ganadores. They weren't the winners. Ellos no fueron los ganadores. Perfect. Okay. Any questions about this? Any questions you want to ask? No, teacher. Is it clear? Está clarísimo? Sí. Clearly, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, let me send this into the to the group. So here I've sent them the image to the group. 
So, um, so what I want you to do is, this should not be that difficult. So, um, Ay, para eso van a necesitar la, la lista que les di. Hay que ver la lista. Okay. Um, so, please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, good. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to complete this list. It's very easy because they give you the past and all you have to do is complete the present or the, the infinitive. So here they have bought the past, the pa the, the bought, the past, but I said bought is the past of buy. So all you have to do is complete the verbs. Okay, so do that. And I'll give you about two minutes to do it. I don't think it'll take you very long. Okay. Do we understand what to do? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay. Okay, are we ready to check? Yes. Yeah? Okay, let's check. Um, okay, so the past of the, the, okay, Bob is the past of by. Eight is the past of? Eat. Eat. Very good, of eat. Mm -hmm. Good. Felt is the past of? Feel. Feel. Very good. A red is the past of? Red. Read. Okay, so these two words are, are spelled the same, but they are pronounced differently. Ojo con esto. This is read. And this is red, red como el color. Okay, so repeat, read. 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 Red. Red. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Do we understand? It's okay. Agreed. Okay. Very good. All right. Next, we have a road is a passive. Right. 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 Good. And see, saw is the past of? See. 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 Good. And set is the past of? See. Sit. Sit. And took is the past of? Take. 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 And war is the past of? Rare. 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 All right. Got it? Any questions at this moment? Pregunta, preguntas. Parece que estamos aquí para ayudarles, pero necesitamos saber en qué. So far, so good? Okay. All right, very good. Now, um, okay, now that you understand these verbs, we're gonna go back to the other, okay, Okay, um, please tell me if uh, you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. All right, so what did you do on the weekend? Okay, what did you do this weekend? It's this last weekend, so... Saturday and Sunday, what did you do, right? Or what did you do yesterday? What did you do last week? What did you do last month? What did you do last year? So you are going to decide, depending on what is true for you, you're going to write. For example, I watch or I didn't watch television. Only one, only one. What is true for you? For example, yesterday, did you watch television? If you watch television, you're gonna say, I watch television. But if you didn't watch television, you're gonna say, I didn't watch television. So I want you to complete with what is true for you. Okay, escriban lo que sea cierto para ustedes. Okay, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms. 
You're going to discuss your answers with a partner and you are also going to say what other things did you do this weekend and you can use also um you can use a irregular verbs not just these verbs you can use any verbs what did you do for example oh i um i went swimming i went swimming this on saturday on Sunday, I ate pizza. Okay, so you can use, you can say anything because hoy ya saben lo cuál es el pasado de los verbos regulares y los irregulares. Entonces pueden usar cualquier verbo. Okay? Do we understand? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put you right now into breakout rooms. Para que puedan hablar y Okay, so here we go. Gonna open the rooms right now. Oh, Adalberto, Catherine. Oh, Adalberto. Oh, Adalberto, ¿qué pasó? Hi, teacher. Hi. I have a problem for connection. Okay, but uh, I'm going to send you again, okay? Ah, me sacó de la... Hi. Okay, so lo voy a mover, okay? Catherine? Okay. ¿Ya te está teniendo problemas? Eloisa? Me sacó de donde estaba. El Luis se la sacó donde estaba. Y se estaba, ¿dónde estaba? Estaba con, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Con dos personas más estaba. Ok, le voy a mandar al grupo uno a ver qué tal. ¿Y Catherine? ¿Catherine? Work, work is trabajar, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Qué raro, no lo veo. Ah, ni yo tampoco. Um, ¿Algo otra cosa que hayas hecho que recordes? Uh, we were in right. No. Porque en dado caso, si no está, porque creo yo que sería la, lo mismo. Or, como decir, uh, Saturday I work, creo que sería para por decirlo así. Porque si no está aquí, entonces creo que sería también work. Porque de, de los ejemplos que ella oh, acaba de dar, what, de what los is... ejemplos que acaba de dar, hay unos como similares. So o what es, I is... work. Oh. But what, what, is, what, what is the problem? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que no entiende? 
Ah, la, eh, es que, por ejemplo, yo, yo le estaba diciendo que yo el sábado trabajé, entonces, pero estamos buscando en la lista de, de que nos mandó y no sale la palabra así de igual como en, en tiempo pasado, simple. Okay, so if it's not in the list, it's because it's a regular verb. Ah, uh, do you understand? Entonces, <laughs> se mantendría igual, por decirlo así. Ah, pues sí, no, 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 no se mantiene igual. Simplemente que se aplique la regla de los, de los regulares. No irregulares, sino que regulares. Dado, entonces, si es como sería en dado caso, es como que en Saturday I work. I worked. Con ED. Uh, work. Worked. Ah, okay. Con ED. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y el, eh, el domingo, bueno, ya, ya dije yo, le toca ahora. Eh, solo que no sé cómo, cómo se dice, o sea, Digamos, eh, el domingo toqué el piano. Vaya, eh, sería Sunday. Play. Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, eh, la pronunciación de, de, de play. Played. Played mm -hmm. the piano. Yes. Ah, ok. I played the piano. Entonces la frase completa estaría así. Sunday, I played. The piano. Yes. Sunday I played oh. the piano. Okay. Porque yo el domingo. El domingo no hice nada. <ríe> Ese sí, hasta no hice nada. Dorm, dor, dormir hasta el mediodía, quizás. Uh, so, <ríe> yo entonces <ríe> dormí. <ríe> o oh, descansar, vaya. Descansaste. Uh -huh. El domingo, o yo descansé el domingo, no sé. Ah, sería, ¿cómo se dice? Descansé, ¿cómo se dice eso? Si no... Descansar. Ah, sí, la, la lista, la lista. Sí, revisa la lista, creo que aquí está. Uh -huh. Run, run, swing, run. Okay, very good, everybody. Um, all right, just uh, very quickly, we're going to check the answers. Uh, for So you could have given many answers of what you did on the weekend. But for these ones in particular, we can say last night I stayed home or negative. Last night I didn't stay didn't say good. Didn't stay. Stay good. Yes, very good. Last week I exercised. Exercised or I I didn't I didn't exercise. I didn't exercise. Yeah, exactly. 
Okay. Okay. Next, last month I shopped. Shopped. Good. I shopped. Or I didn't shop. I didn't shop. I didn't shop. Okay. So the two forms. Okay. Um, and the last one. Last year, I I visited. I visited, visited. or last year I, I didn't did. visit. I didn't visit. Okay, a different country. Okay, so those are the answers. And y ustedes en la otra parte del, del ejercicio que les di podían haber utilizado cualquier verbo entonces si el verbo no estaba en la lista que les di es porque el verbo es regular y entonces tienen que poner tienen que usar las eh, las reglas de los verbos regulares ¿ok? All right. Any questions? Questions? Ok. Eh, chicos, antes que terminemos, solamente quería mencionarles de que necesitamos tomar um, la asistencia que no les hicimos. Sí, sí. Entonces vamos a hacer esto ahorita. Aaron Alberto Peraza Marte. Aaron Alberto. Aaron Alberto. Aaron Alberto. Aaron Alberto. Alberto. Adriana Beatriz Rodríguez Sosa. Eh, Ana Mercedes Solorzana. Okay, thank you. Ana Mercedes Solorzana Najarro. Present. Thank you. Eh, Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Eh, Daniel Osvaldo Aquino Coreas. Um, Dora Stephanie Mejía Mejía. Present. Thank you. Um, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón. Edwin Adonai. Um, Luis Abigail Ortiz de García. Present. Thank you. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present, teacher. Thank you. Henry Oswaldo Quintanilla López. Eh, Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vintes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, José, José, um, José Ángel Hernández López. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Adal, uh, Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Juan Alberto. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Present. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Jamilet Aviles Garcia. Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Kevin Adrián Rodríguez López. Kevin Adrián. Kimberly Natalie Contreras González. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Marvin Alberto Morales Solorzano. Present. Thank you. Mino Alexander Santos Solís. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi. Eh, Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Pedro Natán. Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. Present Miss. Thank you, Rafael. Romeo Antonio Gutierrez Cerón. Romeo Antonio. Ruth del Carmen Rosales Villeda. Eh, present teacher here. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. Thank you, Sandra. Eh, Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. Sonia, Sonia Yanira. Víctor Mario Arqueta Rauda. Present. 
Thank you, Victor. Janira Guadalupe Kumi de Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Janira. Hey, Judy, Ed, Edith Chavez de Herarte. Judy Edith. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, that will be all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye -bye. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night.